Well, tonight, some extra money will be coming to Rowan Salisbury teachers in June. Not from federal COVID funds, though, but from the state. The district will pay around $825 to teachers from a low-wealth supplemental fund. A Northeast Bureau Chief Sydney Heiberger tonight joins us live from Salisbury. So, Sydney, what exactly is this supplemental low-income fund? Yeah, Alicia, this fund is from the state given to low wealth counties to try and level the playing field with these populous counties when it comes to supplemental pay. Now, the state gave Rowan Salisbury specifically $1.4 million, and the district decided to use an additional $64,000 of their own local funds to be able to include pre K teachers and assistant principals in this $825 bonus. Now, I did speak to some teachers today and they told me of course they're grateful for any extra money they can get but they're not sure these one-time bonuses are the best way to improve recruitment and retention. COVID was a shock to everyone but especially teachers. I think a lot of people are feeling like this isn't what I signed up for. It's a feels like a completely different scenario. Rena Taylor is a science educator for Rowan Salisbury schools. Taking on extra work during the pandemic is exactly why the federal government provided extra funding for school districts. In December, Rowan Salisbury used six and a half million of those funds to give staff a $2,000 bonus. In October, they're planning to do the same thing, only this time prorated based on the amount of time staff work. It may offer a little added incentive for people to stay here since it is a retention bonus. So if a teacher or someone was to quit or not come back, then they would not be eligible for this. The problem is teachers like Rena Taylor aren't sure one time bonuses are the way to get teachers to stick around. It's why the Rowan Salisbury Association of Educators started a petition for the district to increase their yearly salary supplement to $4,000. I think respect and feeling valued is a huge issue for educators in the area. So hearing the board say we value you not only now, not only that you stay right now, but that we have you for a long, you're in it for the long haul, I think would be really valuable. The current district supplement in Salisbury ranges from $2,700 to $3,600. The state average is $5,200. Yeah, another issue here the association is fighting is in wage, increasing wages for classified employees. Now, those are hourly employees like bus drivers, cafeteria workers, custodians. They were not included in June's round of $825 bonuses. Now, back in November, the district did approve a $15 an hour wage increase for them. That is their minimum wage now, but now they tell me they're going to be asking for even more. I'm live in Salisbury, Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News. Sydney, thank you so much for breaking that down. I want to give our viewers a little bit more context with this. When it comes to teacher attrition rates, well, that's the measure of how many staff members leave a district in a year's time. So Rowan Salisbury is on par with the state. The rate there is 8.1%, while statewide in North Carolina, it's 82